Hey, how you doing? This is Chuck Englert, Spring Piston Rifle Fever, along with Strength. Today I'm holding my HW80, and I'm going to talk to you about why your rifle needs a tune guide, uh, or why it needs a tight, tighter fitting spring guide, and you're going to why you would need a tune kit. I had a guy that was asking questions. He was saying it was kind of dumb that a brand new rifle. Why would you have to go inside it and do anything? Well, the reason why you have to go inside and do something is because this rifle has a piston inside, and it's driven by a spring. This is the old HW80 spring, and you can see how bent it is, because the old spring guide in this was not tight. And when this goes, in, when it's not tight inside your spring, it hits the end and it vibrates. So I brought down here a meat fork to show you what I'm talking about. And I'll talk more about vibration and harmonics. Hear that? And the opposite of that would be this. Hear that? It stopped it right away. So that's what a good tight fitting spring guide does. When something vibrates, say for instance your piston hits the end of the barrel, or the end of the compression tube, this is your compression chamber, and there's a transport port hole here, and it goes to your barrel and your port pushes your pellet out. So for instance, say your pellet is going down the barrel and your spring guide isn't tight so it's vibrating back and forth inside here. The most extreme example I could think of is if you were going up, an, up a ladder and it was on shaky ground and somebody decided to kick it and that, might, that kick might be kind of like a piston hitting at the end of the wall and your spring going Going. So with a tight fitting spring guide, it's gonna prevent that. And why we have to have why we have to go inside of our rifles? Well, it's because the companies don't put out it's because these are mass produced. Simple as that. They're they're mass produced, they're in a hurry, they put them out quick. Uh, I don't know the reason why, but I don't care. I mean, I like shooting my spring piston rifle. And I'll deal with it. And I have a lot of fun going inside and um, doing DIY tune and stuff like that. But harmonics on this rifle are all about vibrations and stuff like that. It's it, Everything on this has a, a factor of touch or harmonics or vibration. How tight you hold this or how loose or how medium. Where you hold your hand on the forestock. If you have a tight cheek weld or a loose cheek weld. Generally, on the majority, the mass majority of spring piston rifles, you are going to want a looser grip and a light cheek and a light shoulder. You do not want to shoulder that like a deer rifle for the majority of the time. I've heard exceptions, but all the rifles I have shot have required a light hold, what some people call the artillery hold from Tom Gaylord. So... I just wanted to explain that a little bit about the harmonics and the vibration thing. So your spring, if it's not arrested inside here while your pellet's trying to make it down the barrel and that spring is going dung, 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 it's going to be like you're trying to go up that ladder and it's getting kicked by somebody repeatedly until you finally get to the top. And hopefully you get to the top. Same way as the pellet going out of the end of that barrel. Hopefully everything's getting arrested and you've done your part and that pellet is flying down the barrel accurately at the bullseye or at a rabbit's head or a squirrel's head. This is about the best way I can explain this. I hope it makes sense. If you like the video, give me a like. Uh, thank all of you for subscribing that have subscribed to me. I'm over 600 subscribers now, which is amazing. My old channel, I was over 800 and then they pulled the uh, ladder out under my feet. <laughs> so God bless everyone of you. Thank you very much.